So welcome to the first ever tutorial. That is too high, that needs to be much lower. So welcome to the first ever YouTube tutorial made in this office. So yeah, this is the new spiral stage lighting office based in Keithley, but before we get into that, I need to explain a few things. First of all, why have we got a proper video of the office yet? It's not really finished yet, we still need to do stuff. We need to put a massive logo on the wall. We've got loads of stuff to do till it's properly finished but don't worry about that and uh yeah so if you're new around here my name is elliot baines i am the director and founder of spiral stage lighting and welcome to our youtube channel spiral stage lighting is also a show design and lighting design company based in keyflow uk we work on a lot of festivals and tours but unfortunately because of covid it's taken a lot away but that's okay that's okay i guess so this tutorial really blew my mind and I'll explain. So I've been using Avalites for quite a few years now. One thing I did not know is this one thing about macros. I do know about macros on the console. Yeah, you know, record the macros, stuff like that. I'm sure most consoles do have them, MA cameras, stuff like that. But one thing I did not know about Avalites is you can make your own custom written macro on the computer. So yeah, you can record macros and create your own macros straight on the console. But one thing I did not know is you can write your own macros from scratch on the computer. There is actually a website with custom macros on it as well, so I will leave a link to that in the description. But today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to install a custom macro from your PC to a computer or any type of macro. If you are scared about writing macros and code, and if you're not too, you know, uh, positive on that or whatever you call it then there are already custom macros made so uh, check out the website I will leave a link in the description you can do it on uh, Titan Simulator and Titan 1 or the T2 as well uh, but it's really super easy to do that and I think there's already a tutorial on showing you on how to do that but today I'm gonna be showing you on how to install a macro on your USB stick from your PC to your console so I hope you enjoy, if it helps, leave a like, subscribe, let's go over to the PC. So here we are on the computer, we are on the avalites.de uh, website, which I believe is a wiki page. Uh, but anyways, to get a custom macro, uh, all you need to do is click custom macros and examples list. Now, as I said, you can write your own macros, bear in mind, so these are just already pre-made ones that you can download off the website, which I will leave a link in the description. Uh, so let's just pick any macro, we'll just pick a random one, we'll click clear color, uh, clear color, why not? And then just download the code, which is right here. So it's now just downloaded, so if we just go into our files and go on to downloads, just drag the clear color macro into your memory stick. So now what we're gonna do is go over to the lighting desk. So here we are on the console. This is the memory stick that has the custom macro in it. So all you need to do is just plug this into the console. And also I do apologize with the camera being above the screen because usually I would just record the screen directly. So just via like a Cat5 or an ethernet cable. If you go to the tools in the corner, it's right in the top left. Just click tools then click folders and then scroll down to your memory stick mine is here and then just click the macro you want to put into the macro folder you can click copy or move to and then select what file uh, but usually I just click copy and then scroll up and then find the macros folder which is here and then just paste it in I've already pasted that macro in just earlier ago so all you need to do is just paste yours in and then when you've done that exit out of there then click the macro button which is above the keypad on the console which will then take you to this view if you then click refresh library it will then refresh the library as you've literally just added a new macro so if we click it now click view all i'm gonna go try find my macro so it starts with a c so i'll just find it here it is clear color what we can do is move that to wherever we want we can move it to the uh, executors on the console or uh, any of the uh, palettes on the console as well so what we can do is just click move and then let's say we just want that on one of my executors that will then move to an executor as you can see 
I've just put the macro on that executor and then it is ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial in the new office as well, which I'm really happy about. And uh, if it did help, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe, turn notifications on. And also, if you want to see anything specific, if you want me to record a certain tutorial or something on the channel you would like to see, leave a comment down below and I'll try get to it as soon as I possibly can. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, turn notifications on. Check the social media links down below in the description. And I will see you in the next video.